Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be doing what? Organizing, organizing my binders. So I have all my stuff over here from the organizing binder. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, and comment any other videos you ever want to see. So, let's get on to the video. Okay, I'm here to me because this is wet and I ate on it, so yeah. So I have, I printed out two schedules of mine, so that I can put in both my binders, bunch of binders, so yeah. So, here's my backpack. I'm not going to school yet, so next week, but I'm going to grab out my Two binders and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my two binders. I have this orange binder and this green binder as you saw in my Batsu haul. So we're gonna go with my uh, this binder. So this is for the first month or day or something like that. I'm gonna have one of my schedules in it. So so this is the front. So I'm just gonna put. Schedules in the front of my binder and everything in, inside except for my name. So that one goes in the binder right there. So now that I have my schedule in the front, it's every year. So then I have all my stuff laying out here. So I'll show you guys that. Right. My dividers. I have a red one, a blue one, an orange one, purple, green white, gray, and a blue one. And we have all my subject on. So, then I have some lined paper. And I have graph paper. And then, so you know, this is graph paper, so I know where it stops. So, I'm gonna put this in my binder. Okay. So, I'm gonna take my binder. And, okay, so we're gonna do take the graph paper first I'm just gonna it's super easy just to take some of it off so that's easier to put in so I'm just gonna take it piece by piece put in just so it's a lot easier to do And I got the uh, reinforced paper so that it doesn't rip in the binder. So, yeah. And I'm making sure that I use the paper that has a sticky note. Is on the top so that I can divide my line and graph paper. And the graph paper you use in math and science. So, yeah. Okay, so I got my graph paper. Okay. So, then I'm just going to take my big stack of line paper. There's 100 pages. Let me just do that it's easier. I don't have to refill it. I think I'll use probably half of this. No, yeah, I'll probably use most of it this year. This will be for the whole entire year. I don't really waste off yet. So I'm just gonna take a 50, do it sort of half and just put it in. So, this is what it looks like. So you have to have this and just put it like that and whatever. And then you have this little 
green sink poking out of it and just flip right to it and get the graph paper. So, yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna do these. And I have them ordered by my class. So, math, math, social studies, IRLA, and then these two things right here are blank for IRLA. And then science, science, and science, and then these two are also for science. So I'm just gonna put these in. And these ones are the nice, are nice because um, I have a pocket. And then my last ones I have, they were like this. They broke really easy, but because they didn't have these. And it was just like loose like this, so this is nicer. And it's also five star. My other ones were not five star, they were well, like cheap ones. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these in. And they have like really nice big holes so that they don't rip as easy. So and I still need to get some more binders. I mean, not binders, but dividers to put into this binder because for um, my um, woodwork. So that's just yeah. And then I have. Yeah, four more of these little things to put on the stickers, so I just have that. Okay. And my dividers are all in it, and I think there's some on top, and then some on the sides, which is nice. So, dividers and put on So, I like to put this anything that's small since this is a two ring by a two inch binder. It's nice and big right here, so I'm just gonna take these so that they're nice and safe for inches. Slide them in here so it's easy to find and they don't get lost. So this is my um, Five subjects in this binder, my team classes, and then I'll put my word working class, it will be in this binder, which is nice. So now we're gonna move on to this binder. So let me get all the stuff I need for this binder. So I have all of my stuff that I need for this binder. So I'll see you guys with this. Right. So my that binder is right there. So for my green binder, it's empty. I got my name, and I can just take that off for next year if I want to reuse this. It's just a nice green one inch binder. So what I need for this binder is my this is my French binder. So what I need for it is just some paper, and I have my schedule here. So I'm not sure that you guys you guys can find what school I go to on the internet, but yeah. So I have this binder with paper and a schedule to put on top for a little bit so that I know which class to go to and stuff. So yeah. And all I really need is a pencil, pen, and paper for this class. Cause yeah. So let's get into putting okay. paper. So so we have the binder. And it's just one inch basic green. Feels good. But so let me take my schedule so I'm just gonna put in the front same like like the orange binder so there's that and green so now we're gonna take line paper and put line paper in Binder, super simple, super super simple, and it's just French. So that's 
that. In front. And that. So. And honestly, all I really need for these three classes are pens or pencil. So, pretty simple. But the you know, bad thing is, I'm gonna have to carry both of these at some, usually at the same time. It's gonna suck, but I'm lucky to have my lockers on the floor. No, not on the floor. On the um, first level instead of the second level, because last year it was second level and it was horrible to get upstairs. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe and the notification bell. So, bye. See you guys Sunday. Sunday, Sunday.